Hey folks, Nendo here. Today we're creating a gun tier list. We'll be placing every weapon on the chart, with S tier being the best and D being the worst. I'll try to give you my reasoning for each weapon. Keep in mind, these are my opinions from experiences with the weapons in my many thousands of hours playing. This is not a video on stat numbers, and more a video on how I feel about each weapon personally. With that said, I'd love to read your comments down below with any changes that you would make. Let's dive into it. Let's start off with the CR550 Savannah. I give it a B tier. It shoots great 308 rounds, takes good scopes, but it's hard to find the magazines for it. It's a good weapon, but by this time in my run, I'd rather have a Tundra. The M70 Tundra is definitely an S tier weapon for me. It shoots great rounds, 308, takes good scopes, and it has higher accuracy and less recoil than the Savannah. The CR527, I'd give it a B tier, 7.62 by 39. It's a good starting gun, it can take a hunting scope, and finding this early will make you deadly. It can take a 5 round magazine, but you'll want to graduate from this weapon when you find something better. The Bozen is definitely S tier. It has high stopping power with the 7.62 by 54 rounds. I personally like the PU scope. It doesn't take a hunting scope though. It's reliable and accurate. It's definitely one of the weapons with the most sniper kills I've had. It's common enough that you'll probably find it in most of your runs, as long as you live long enough. It's just a great all around weapon, and once I find one, I hardly ever get rid of it. The SVD, or otherwise known as the VSD, is an S tier as well. High stopping power with that 7.62 by 54 It takes a 10 round magazine. It has a high fire rate. Deals great damage. And it can take a suppressor and good optics. The BK-18, I'd give it a C tier. It's an okay starter gun, but is quickly replaced. It has no scope attachments and you can only shoot one shot at a time before you need to reload. The SKS is A tier. It's one of my favorite guns to find early to mid game. It comes with a 10 round internal magazine right out of the gate. It takes a PU scope and a bottle suppressor. If I were to count all of my kills, I probably have the most kills with an SKS. And that's simply because it's a common weapon to find and it really gets the job done. The LAR, I give an A. It's extremely rare and it's hard to find. And then once you find one, you're gonna to need to find a mag for it. It has high recoil, but it's deadly with its 308 rounds. Fully kitted with an ACOG, it is amazing. It's right on the line between A and S tier. The Pioneer, I'd give it a B. The M4 suppressor makes it so good when it's suppressed. It doesn't pack as much punch in its damage as other snipers like the Mosin, but it allows for a great range of optics and attachments. The Blaze, I would give an A tier. The double shot is amazing. If you land both shots, you're dropping your target. It can take one of my favorite scopes, the Hunting Scope. It did get a recent nerf in damage, but it's still so good if you land a double shot. The M4, that's an easy one, S tier. It shoots extremely fast. At close range, it shreds, and it's capable of landing long range shots. There are a huge range of attachments to customize your weapon. Once you get an M4, you're golden. The MK2, I'll give it an A. It's definitely my favorite zombie killer. Each box of ammo contains tons of ammo, so it's plentiful. Typically when I'm playing, I'll stop using other handguns when I get a good automatic weapon, but with the MK2, I consistently hang on to it, even during endgame, just to pop zombies with. It does have low caliber ammo, so it's not gonna be great against players. The AKM, I'll go with an A. It does great damage and it's highly kittable. The huge drum mag allows for a 75 round magazine. The less you have to reload, the longer you can stay in the fight and keep the pressure on. AK-101, I'll also give it an A tier. It uses the 5.56, just like an M4, so the bullets have nice high penetration value. It can only take 30 round mags and it's not as customizable as the M4. AK-74, also an A. It's your standard AK and an all-around solid weapon. It offers a good balance between weapon damage and range. 
the AKS-74U, also called the BBAK. I'll give it a B. It's not my favorite weapon. The recoil is weird to control. I only really trust it in close quarters. That said, it does get the job done until you find something better. The AUG AX, S tier. It shreds. It can be fully kitted with NATO attachments, such as the M4 suppressor and a 60 round mag. You find one of these, you're a deadly force to be reckoned with. The regular AUG, I'll give it a B. The sight is not my favorite, and at this point in your run, you usually have a better option to choose from. It's a fine weapon though, and it's nice that it comes with a sight. It certainly packs a punch, but it does not offer much customization. The M16, I will give an A tier. It's just a solid weapon. Good damage with an optional burst fire mode. There's no full auto, and it can't take a scope. But it does accept an M4 suppressor and a 60 round mag. The s -Val. This is a tough one. I'm going to give it a B though. It can shred, but AP ammo is just so hard to find. It already comes suppressed. One interesting aspect is it fires at a subsonic speed. What that means is that usually if a player is getting sniped at, they can hear a crack sound. But if you fire the s -Val and it misses the target, the player won't hear a crack sound and they won't be able to tell they're being shot at very easily. The s -Val can also take NATO sights. The VSS, I'll also give it a B tier. It's very similar to the s -Val, and it comes suppressed and has supersonic speed. It uses Russian sights, which are not my favorite. The MP5, I'll give it a C. It's a decent starter gun. It can take a lot of attachments to kit it out. It uses 9mm, and you'll likely want to upgrade to a different gun pretty quickly. The UMP, it's going to be a D tier for me. It's similar to the MP5, but uses 45 rounds and has a pretty harsh recoil. It's not my favorite weapon. The Bison, I'll give it a C. It takes low damage rounds, 380. It's not my favorite, but it does decent in the early game. It accepts a huge 64 round magazine that you can absolutely pepper players with. It's a great zombie killer when you have a pistol suppressor. One thing I noticed though is the pistol suppressor gets worn down really quickly because you're firing so many rounds out of it. The Scorpion, I'm going to give it a D, but it's a close one. It could be a C. It is a decent starter zone weapon. It accepts a pistol suppressor. Great for zombie killing. That said, it does take up a lot of space in your inventory if you're trying to keep it around for a zombie killer. You'll quickly find that you're ditching it for something better. The Pump Shotgun, I'll give it a C. It's a decent spawn town weapon. It accepts good ammo. Five shells plus one in the chamber. It can put a mini sight on it but the pump has a little bit of delay between shots as you pump it. The double barrel shotgun, that's gonna be a B for me. It can be set to both single and double shot, and if you hit two shots at once, it's gonna take the person down. It's a great weapon, even in later game engagements when you're at close range. The repeater, I'm gonna have to give that a D. It just feels clunky to use. You have to cock the weapon each time you fire it, increasing the time between shots. The Deagle, that's one that's also on the borderline. I'm going to give it a B. It's close to an A. It's hard hitting with the 357 rounds. You can get a 9 round mag with it, which gives you plenty of stopping power. It can be suppressed and takes mini sights or a pistol optic. The only thing holding it back from A for me is that later in the end game, I'm just going to be using my main rifles and then my handgun is just going to be for zombie killing. So in that case, I'd actually rather just have an MK2. The revolver, I'll give it a C. It hits hard with its 357, no magazine is needed, and it does not allow for any attachments. For me, I really like it. I've had quite a few kills with it. It might be just because it's so common. The longhorn, I'll give it a B. It has a strange position in the world of handguns. It uses 308 rounds, which pack a powerful punch, often seen in sniper rifles. It accepts a pistol optic, which can be used to snipe with, it can actually hit shots from a distance quite well, but you will likely replace it with a rifle as soon as you can. You can also attach mini sights as well for a closer range engagements, but that can be rather clunky when used at short range. The Glock I will give a B. It's good all around. It can be kitted with mini sights, pistol suppressor, pistol flashlight. It can take a huge magazine of 15 rounds, and it has nice default iron sights. The CR-75, I'll give it a C. It's very similar to the Glock, but it has slightly less recoil. On the flip side, it has slightly less accuracy than the Glock. The P1, I'll give it a D. 
It's not my favorite, but I'll take it as a spawn down gun. The FX-45, I'll give that a B. It can be kitted with mini sights, pistol suppressor, flashlight, and also a 15 round mag. The 1911, that's going to be a D for me. I haven't had the best luck with this weapon personally. It can take a pistol suppressor and a flashlight, and a 7 round mag. The sporter is kind of weird. I'm going to give it a D. It could be a C sometimes. Your mileage may vary with this one. It's got low damage. It does terrible against armored targets. That said, a 30 round mag with a sporter in a spawn town can cause some serious chaos. I've gotten a decent amount of kills with it. The IJ, I'll give it a C. It could be a B. While it's not the most powerful handgun, I still say it's one of the best spawn town to midtown handguns. The ammo is easy to find. It can use a suppressor for killing Zeds. This handgun ranks up there with some of my most spawn town kills with. The flare gun, give it a D. It's not really worth mentioning, but it's on the chart. The Vyga, that will be a C. The Vyga is a little awkward for me. Whenever I find it, I no longer am at a point in my run when I need it. In close range, it can inflict huge amounts of damage and its ability to equip 5, 8, and even 20 shell drum mags is awesome. But again, this weapon usually spawns in higher tier loot locations. Therefore, typically at this point in my run, I'd already be opting for a better weapon at this point. The FAMAS, that'll be an A tier for me. This weapon is much better with the iron sights cut off with a hacksaw. It shreds players at a close range with an extremely fast fire rate. If you're not able to saw off the iron sights though, it's a little clunky and you'll probably want to hip fire it and not use the iron sights. Now we have a couple newer weapons that are not on the list. I'm just going to add them manually. The Derringer, that's going to be a D tier for me. It only takes two shots of 357, which can also be shot at the same time. It's better than nothing, and it can be a sneaky way for a fresh spawn to get a kill on an unsuspecting player. But packing only two shots, if you miss even a single shot, you're going to be in trouble. The BK-12 shotgun, that's going to be a D as well. It's a single barrel shotgun that is decent for spawn town fights. Whenever using it, I just think about how much I'd rather have a double barrel shotgun. And this one, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to put on the list, but the M79 grenade launcher. This weapon can be devastating when used correctly. It's rare enough that I'm not comfortable giving it an S tier as I do not have a ton of experience using it in real live applications. The 40 millimeter explosive grenade damage is about the same as a regular handheld grenade, but in this case, you're delivering that grenade directly to another player's face. The 40mm pox grenade is also deadly with its poison cloud. Alright, let me know in the comments what you'd think or what you would change. Check the video on the left and learn how to get more kills. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.